back with an unboxing for you guys this evening if it's your first time checking our channel out thank you first of all and make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss our exciting episodes subscribe turn on those notifications like and definitely comment on what you see let us know you know your thoughts on the videos the shoes anything you want to talk about drop me some questions and we will get back to you so we won't keep you long we know the uh, Jordan 6 Carmine dropped today. Also, the uh, Air Force One Valentine's Day dropped. Wasn't able to get a pair of those, but I was able to secure a few pairs of the Carmines. And I will say they are looking beautiful. No pink bleeding or anything like that. Nothing but ice. So let's go ahead and get into it. And I got the hat on because it is friggin' cold, cold, cold here in the Midwest. And Yachty signed for another year with the Cardinals, so definitely a Cardinals fan. Here's your receipt for all those people that are, you know, into that kind of stuff. Let's go ahead and get into it. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let me see it, Mama. Let me see it. And there you have the Jordan 6 Carmine 2021 edition. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Brings back memories. I used to love these shoes back in the day when I was a youngster. And we will go over it. You got that iced Jordan 6 bottom with the red jump man and the white here and there. We go to the side sole. We got the air technology. Got a little more of that ice with a little hint of white and the black trim. Uh, we'll skip right around to the booty in, and you know what makes the shoe, especially the OG shoe, and that's that Nike Air on the butt. Uh, Material-wise, we got some pretty decent leather. Like I said, it does remind me of the uh, originals. And the red, we have uh, maybe new buck, maybe. Uh -huh. Maybe new buck on the red. Got the red on the toe, side panels, inside and out. Uh, we go right there. You got that red jump man with almost looks like a little bit of satin mm -hmm. right there. Pretty nice thing. Of course, you got your lace lock with the Nike on one side and the jump man on the other. We got the, uh, I can't think what it's called. Pull tab? Pull tab on the back. The spoiler, whatever you want to call it, with a little red right there. And, man, these are laced up tight. You got the tongue there with the Jordan right there. It's kind of tight and I can't get to it. And then on the inside, of course, we got Jordan. I don't have my light on so you can't see it. But trust me, it is there. Mama. Nike Air in mine. Yeah, Nike Air. What I say? Jordan. Nike Air, I mean. I'm sorry. What do you think of this shoe? It's all right. <clears throat> I like the red. First of all, let me ask, do you remember this from back when I we do. were young? Yep. And it was a pretty dope shoe then. And it's a very nice shoe now. Let's see if I can get that a little more so you can see it. There you go. That Nike Air with a black sole. And when were these made? Oh, so this is last year. 729.20 to 916.20. So this is, uh, I should call this Jordan 6 2020. But I'll go 21 since it wasn't released till this year. Uh... As I said a few seconds ago, this is a nostalgia shoe for me. This is one that I liked when I was a little younger. A very, very nice shoe. I think they did a darn good job on it. Jaden, what do you think of it? I actually do like that. I know it's red, black, and white, but I do like the way they put the colors. Yeah, the way they put the color blocking together is absolutely beautiful. They did the OG Justice. It's a very, very nice shoe. You also have, I guess, some... Uh, I don't know if that's quite ventilation with the holes on the side panel on the inside. I guess we'll call it ventilation the same up here on the anklet. I would assume that's what that's for. Like I said, leather quality on the white reminds me of like an old school 
shoe, not the new buck, that soft tumble leather, OG leather right there on that one. So not a bad shoe at all. Uh, I know it did sell out pretty much everywhere. Uh, the dope pair was able to grab a few pairs, so pretty cool looking on that. White, just white laces, doesn't come with anything else, but white laces. Let me make sure, yeah, just white laces. And it retail for 200 bucks. Talk to me, mama. What 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 you gonna give this? And I'm 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 liking this shoe a lot. I think I'm gonna give it an eight. Mama gives it an eight. Um can I ask why? I don't know, I like it. It's just not I'm not like wow, but I like it. I really like the red. I yeah. like the red and white together, so. Right, and I'm, I'm not a huge fan of red all the time either. I'm not a huge fan of solid red shoes, and I'm not a huge fan of solid black shoes. Like I said, color blocking on this is excellent. I'm going to give this a nine. That's a very nice shoe. Um, I know a lot of people were saying there was problems with the dye out of the red here bleeding down into the ice and making it pink. As you can see, we have no bleeding on these shoes. And I checked the other pairs I had, and those were all fine, too. So I do believe if you took it back to where you got them, if they were bleeding, you were allowed to return them and get your money back. So I think that's pretty cool on uh, all the foot sides. Jaden, give me a number, buddy. I'm going to say nine, too. I actually like it. Me and Jaden are nine. Mama is a eight and eight, it would be. Uh, again, I'll give you once over one more time. Pretty dope shoe. I'd say probably well worth the 200 Um I doubt you're going to find any stores. I'm pretty sure they sold out everywhere. Uh, if you're looking to still <laughs> find a pair, I know Excuse I looked at me. StockX, and they had jumped up to about 260 to 280 They're floating around that range right now. Me, personally, I still think the shoe's worth that. If I didn't get a pair, I probably would still buy it at that price. I don't think that's too terribly bad for an OG shoe. Do you agree? Yeah, that's pretty decent. Not bad. Not bad at all. Jordan 6, Carmine. So, uh, I have one little thing to get with you I want to discuss with you guys. And I'm probably going to talk about this in the next video. The next video is not going to be a shoe video. But, uh, I know there was a lot of issues with the Jordan 1, um, trophy room shoe and a lot of people were concerned with the back dooring of the shoe uh from what i saw there was a lot of fake shoes running around a lot of people um doing videos first looks on fake shoes and i'm not saying they purposely went and bought fake shoes but no one knew did it come with the blue laces did it not come with the blue laces uh the ua pairs i mean it's just a whole bunch of stuff going on i think i'm going to talk we're going to talk about that in the next video and i'm gonna give my opinion mama's gonna weigh in as well so if you guys have any questions or things you'd like us to answer uh put it in the comments below and i'll make sure we talk about that in the next video but uh, uh i stumbled across a, a youtuber mk the truth and i watched a few of his videos i even messaged him we talked you know a little bit not much i don't like the name drop but Talked a little bit about UA, and especially with the trophy room, made me look at things a lot different. I, don't, I think there's 12,000 pairs. I may be wrong about that. And a whole bunch of them went missing or backdoored to wherever. Uh, I know Benjamin Kicks had some pairs, a whole bunch of pairs. There was 250 pairs that dropped on Nike or sneakers. And like I said, it's just I'm just looking at things in a, in a different light. And I'm not, I'm not talking about selling UA shoes. I'm just talking about strictly wearing those shoes if you choose to go that route because i'll just touch on it briefly in my opinion people can like that shoe it was a 190 i believe 170 190 if they backdoored nobody can get a pair and if you want a pair you're going to drop 2500 dollars on it which i think is absolutely ridiculous for a shoe i don't care if michael jordan wore it to his communion or whatever 2500 dollars for a shoe is to me is is that's pretty freaking high what do you think we can save that for the next video. Yeah, so if you guys got some questions that you would like us to answer or, yeah, drop it down in the comments. And in that next video, we are going to discuss all that and talk all about it. It will not be a shoe look at all. Strictly conversation. So, Jordan 6 Carmine, pretty dope shoe. Nice job, Jordan brand. 
200 bucks on the retail. And as always, like we say on this channel, if you dig it, buy it. And if you missed out, I still say go buy it for over retail because the shoe is damn sure worth it. We'll catch you Monday with that little discussion we have. Until then, peace. peace. Stay warm.